People lie a lot. That's not a secret. But there are a few things you shouldn't lie about ever. One of those things would be lying that you got a degree on a resume. Another would be lying to the government. And the third would have to be lying that you got raped. Because if you lie about rape, you're like throwing under the bus all the people who tell the truth about it, who suffer because of people like you who lie about it. And I don't know why people are afraid to call people to the carpet for lying about it. It's despicable. And for you to sit back and say, well, we're not going to jump on that person for lying because it's too sensitive a topic. To me, that just seems insincere, stupid, cowardly, and it defeats the purpose. Look, if someone lies about rape, they just further the idea that women lie about rape. As a guy, if I was raped, first of all, I'd be dead because I'm a guy and I got to try to kill that motherfucker. But if I was raped, damn it, I'd know. I'd know where I was raped. I'd know who raped me and I'd know who I had to kill. Which brings me to my story. Rolling Stone Magazine published an article back November 19th, Campus Rape. In it, they highlight the story of a girl named Jackie. And Jackie's a sweet little white girl in her third year of college. And she goes on a date at a, at a fraternity. I'm not going to name the fraternity because, God damn it, they've been through enough. She goes on a date at a fraternity and an event, a dating event, the man takes her back to the fraternity where she's, where he has secretly stashed seven guys and they all take turns hitting it. They gang raped her. At least that's what she says. Now, when I read the article in Rolling Stone, I noticed in the second paragraph, they clearly say, hey, out of respect for Jackie, we did not check any of her sources. We checked none of the men that she accused. Well, goddamn. How are you going to publish an article where you don't even check with the people that you're talking about? That's a red flag to me. A big ass red flag. So it turns out, as luck would have it, or not have it, some other news entities did a little research. I mean, because the fraternity, the poor fraternity, man, they were getting hate mail, vandalism, scared for their fucking lives, everybody's bashing them, they shut down the fraternity. All this shit based on this article that no one checked at all. Well, it turns out a couple news entities did some checking finally, and it found out a couple things were what they call inconsistencies. You know, such as, well, the night she says she went to this fraternity for this event, that fraternity actually didn't have an event that night. <laughs> then some of the guys that she described it turns out there's nobody at their fraternity that matched that description. <laughs> Names don't match. Places don't match. <laughs> dates don't fucking match. <laughs> the only thing we have corroborating her story is a friend of hers that says, yeah, she was kind of acting strange around that time. Now, I'm not saying she did it or she didn't or she's lying or she's not lying. I don't know what the hell happened. But I know it's dangerous when people can just say whatever they want to say and people just run with it. Now I go online, I see a lot of news entities. They're throwing Rolling Stones under the bus because Rolling Stones came out and said, hey, we fucked up, but it really wasn't our fault because we shouldn't have trusted her. She lied to us, which in turn made us lie to you. That didn't work too well because people started bashing Rolling Stone. Well, you're the news entity. You're supposed to know when people lie. You're supposed to check everything they tell you. So then Rolling Stone had to issue another statement where they said, you know what? You're right. We fucked up. It's not her fault. She's a lying piece of shit. Oh, it's not her fault. She got it wrong. Oh, it's not her fault. She made us look like crap. So look, man, I don't know what you think about me after me doing this article this way, but I can tell you this. I think rape is an appalling act, and I think people who commit rape should have their dicks cut off. Yeah. That's what should happen to them. So don't say I'm condoning rape because I'm not. What I'm saying is more people need to be outraged that this woman lied. And I think it's wrong just because she's a little white girl that motherfuckers want to give her a pass for lying. She obviously lied. Somebody raped you at a place. 
you would know you got raped at that place. And if you knew you went on a date with somebody and they raped you, you know who that person was because you dated them. Unless they gave you a fake name, fake ID, wore a mask and all this other shit. Something's going on here and I don't fucking like it. And I think it's a discredit more so to people who've actually been raped. They should be the ones really pissed right now. So I'm pissed for them because they're too polite. To call her a motherfucker. I'm Tim Black. Subscribe. Send your hate mail to I don't give a fuck at TimTheBartender.com.